Hey guys, Mike Patzold here from WordPress Made Easy. I'm getting ready to upgrade my blog to the new WordPress 2.7.1 using the new auto update. So I logged in this morning. I see that 2.7.1 is now available. I click the please update now. Now notice this big yellow thing here. Important, before upgrading, please back up your database and files. Okay, this is important. It won't hurt you very often, but when it does, you can lose your whole blog. Uh, so what I've done is I've logged into cPanel, and I went to go find PHP my admin. I've already opened that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to export the database. So I just click the export link. Make sure that select all is done scroll down I want to save it as a file you can either use zipped or gzipped in this case I'm going to use the zip format press go and I'll save that file and I'll just save it to my desktop because this is not the computer that I normally do my backups on I keep the backups on a hard drive and I can just close that out. The other thing I want to do is I do want to go and pull some files. Okay, I've already started to pull the themes folder and the plugins folder from within WP content because I will want to have those in case there's any problems or something gets overwritten, especially if you're using the default template. This will take me a couple minutes to download, the same as it takes a minute or two for to pull the database. But this will save me a lot of aggravation if I have any problems. So I'm just going to pause while this continues to download. Okay, that's downloaded. The other thing that I always like to grab is the configuration file. So I'm going to go find the wpconfig.php, and I want a copy of that too because that has all the information if I have a problem on what my database passwords and stuff are. Now I can go back to where I was and go back to the blog. I've, I've done this first step. Just click upgrade automatically. Make sure that you have the proper FTP information in and just click proceed. Now this will take a couple minutes usually, so I'm going to pause. It's already pulled down the new version, but I'll pause until it's finished. Okay, I'm back. As you can see, it has finished it. Now this did take about 10 minutes. I'm on a wireless DSL connection, so it's not a very quick process, but it did successfully upgrade. And that, so fortunately for me, I don't need the backups that I made. However, I do want to emphasize, always take the backups, because in that one case out of a hundred where you have a problem, having those backups will allow you to reinstall your blog. Okay, have a great day. Make sure you upgrade if you're on 2.7 to the new 2.7.1. There are 68, I believe different items that they fixed off of the checklist on this one. And if you have questions or comments on blogging or WordPress, stop by the blog at wptutorial.com forward slash blog. Have a great day. This is Mike Pazel signing out.